Did you know that 57% of catastrophic engine failures are caused by cooling system problems? Your car's cooling system isn't just another maintenance item, it's what keeps your engine alive. When it fails, you're looking at repair bills from $1,500 to over $7,000. In this video, I'll show you proven techniques that can double the lifespan of your cooling system, techniques most mechanics won't tell you about. These aren't quick fixes. They're professional-grade solutions I've developed over years of working on engines. I guarantee it. The first trick to making your cooling system last twice as long is properly bleeding air from the system. This might sound counterintuitive, but air is actually your cooling system's worst enemy. I've seen countless engines destroyed because of tiny air pockets that mechanics left behind during service. I personally use a specialized spill-proof funnel kit for this job. Costs about $25 at any auto parts store. If you're in a pinch, a modified water bottle or regular funnel can work too, but you won't get the same results. Safety is absolutely critical here. Always ensure the engine is completely cold before beginning. The cooling system operates under pressure up to 15 PSI, and opening a hot system can cause explosive release of scalding coolant. I had a customer once who ignored this advice and ended up with second degree burns. Locate the correct access point for your vehicle. This might be a radiator cap, reservoir cap, or dedicated bleeder valve. Your vehicle service manual provides specific information about access points. When removing the cap, turn it slowly to release any residual pressure. If your vehicle has a dedicated bleeder valve, loosen it using a 3 8 inch wrench, but don't completely remove it. You'll hear a hissing sound as air escapes. Add coolant until liquid rather than air comes from the valve, then, Tighten it to the appropriate torque. Fill the system until the reservoir is approximately one-third full. As you add coolant, you'll notice the level dropping as it fills the engine block, heater core, and radiator. Continue adding coolant until the level stabilizes. You'll see air bubbles rising through the coolant. That's exactly what you want as the air purges. Start the engine with the funnel still in place and turn the heater controls to maximum heat with AD off. This opens the heater core circuit, where air often gets trapped. As the engine warms up, the thermostat will eventually open, typically around 180 to 195 degrees Fahrenheit. You'll know this happens when the cooling fans activate and when you observe a sudden drop in coolant level. Here's a professional trick most people miss. While the engine is running, gently squeeze the upper and lower radiator hoses to help dislodge stubborn air bubbles. I do this on every car service. Revving the engine occasionally during this process can also help with stubborn air pockets. After 10 to 15 minutes with no more bubbles appearing, verify proper bleeding with normal temperature gauge readings, hot air from heater vents, and no visible leaks. The second way to make your cooling system last longer comes as a surprise to many car owners. Avoid using tap water at all costs. You might think water is water, but that's dead wrong for your cooling system. The minerals in tap water act like microscopic saboteurs, creating rust and corrosion that attacks critical components. I've torn down engines where the owner used tap water and the damage is always obvious. Rust particles acting like sandpaper, wearing down metal components and creating microabrasions throughout the system. These contaminants initiate a relentless process of rust and corrosion that systematically attacks critical components like the radiator, water pump, heater pipes, and engine block. The microscopic minerals begin to form deposits that progressively clog the intricate passages of your radiator and cooling system. The third technique for extending your cooling system's life is understanding what coolant really does. Your car's coolant isn't just colored water. It's a meticulously engineered fluid containing critical anti-corrosion additives that protect expensive engine components. The chemical composition includes specialized silicates and compounds that create a protective layer on metal surfaces, preventing rust, scale buildup, and corrosion. A proper coolant mixture raises the boiling point to approximately 260 degrees Fahrenheit, providing a critical buffer against overheating even under extreme conditions. Additionally, the additives act as a lubricant for the water pump, reducing wear and extending its operational life. But here's what most people don't realize. Coolant has a limited lifespan of about four to five years, or around 100,000 miles. When these additives degrade, your engine becomes vulnerable to microscopic damage that can lead to catastrophic failures. 
The fourth critical factor for cooling system longevity is using the scientifically correct coolant mixture. A 50-50 mix of high-quality coolant and distilled water provides optimal freeze protection down to negative 37 degrees Celsius while maintaining excellent heat transfer properties. This isn't arbitrary. It's scientifically calculated for maximum protection. Different vehicles require specific coolant formulations. Japanese cars, like Honda, often need specialized coolants such as Honda Coolant 20 or Haveline Extended Life Antifreeze. The color matters too. Green, blue, red, and other colors represent unique formulations designed for specific types of engines and metals. For instance, Nissan uses a long-life blue coolant rated for approximately 7 years or 100,000 miles, while older green coolants typically lasted only 4 years or 60,000 miles. Never mix different coolant types. This can cause chemical reactions leading to gelling, cooling system blockages, and accelerated corrosion. The fifth essential practice for maximum cooling system life is performing a thorough system flush. A simple drain and refill is a rookie mistake that only removes about 75% of the old coolant. The remaining 25% lurks in engine blocks, heater cores, and hidden passages, continuing to cause damage. I use a multi-step approach on my own vehicles, first draining all existing fluid, then using a professional-grade radiator cleaner to dissolve stubborn deposits, rust, and old coolant. I always remove the thermostat valve during flushing to ensure complete cleaning. Here's a technique most mechanics don't share. Run the engine with heater controls on maximum during flushing, using a garden hose through the radiator while the drain is open. This dislodges stubborn deposits and ensures thorough cleaning. Some professionals use mild cleaning agents like citric acid or phosphate-free dishwasher detergent to break down oil and rust, but you must be extremely careful with these. Repeat the flushing until the water runs completely clear with no foam or residue. This meticulous approach removes years of accumulated damage and resets your cooling system to near original condition. The sixth crucial factor for cooling system longevity is replacing your radiator cap regularly. This $15 part isn't just a cover, it's a precision engineered pressure valve that maintains your entire cooling system at the correct operating pressure. This pressure raises the boiling point of your coolant, preventing overheating and steam packing. Most people completely overlook this component, but the spring inside weakens over time and the rubber seal deteriorates, leading to pressure loss and coolant evaporation. I replace mine every four years, regardless of visible condition. It's cheap insurance against major cooling system damage. The seventh way to make your cooling system last longer is replacing radiator hoses preventively, not reactively. Hoses deteriorate from the inside out, where you can't see it. By the time visible degradation appears, the hose is already critically compromised. Industry experts recommend replacing all cooling system hoses every five to seven years, regardless of appearance. This costs about $50 to $100 in parts, but can save you thousands in emergency repairs. Pay special attention to the smaller heater hoses connecting to your firewall. These often fail first, but are frequently overlooked. The eighth essential practice is replacing your thermostat during coolant service. This gatekeeper controls coolant flow and maintains optimal engine temperature. As thermostats age, they can begin to stick partially open or closed, causing temperature fluctuations that stress your entire cooling system. A failing thermostat forces your engine to run either too hot, accelerating wear, or too cold, reducing efficiency and increasing emissions. At typically under $20, replacing it during each major coolant service is incredibly cheap insurance. Always verify the correct temperature rating for your specific vehicle and install it in the correct orientation. The ninth important practice is implementing a simple monthly inspection habit. I take 30 seconds at the beginning of each month to check my coolant's color and condition. With the engine cold, remove the cap and look for color changes, cloudiness, floating particles, or an oily film that could indicate head gasket failure. This simple check has saved many of my customers from catastrophic engine damage by catching problems early. Don't wait for your next scheduled service if you notice these warning signs. Address them immediately. The tenth critical factor is performing a complete system flush when switching coolant types. Different coolants contain different additive packages that can chemically react with each other. 
For example, mixing conventional green coolant with extended life orange coolant can create a gel-like substance that clogs passages. When transitioning between types, perform a specialized multi-stage flush. Drain the system completely. Fill with distilled water in a cooling system cleaner. Run the engine until thoroughly warmed, then drain again. Repeat two to three times with plain distilled water until the fluid runs completely clear. Only then add the new coolant type. The eleventh essential practice is becoming a detective for early problem signs. Your cooling system shows distinct warning signals before catastrophic failure. Temperature gauge fluctuations, especially at idle, often indicate air in the system or a failing thermostat. Sweet smells from the vents might indicate a leaking heater core. White smoke from the exhaust, particularly at startup, may indicate coolant leaking through a failing head gasket. Unexplained coolant loss without visible leaks typically indicates either evaporation through a bad radiator cap or internal consumption through a failing head gasket. Address these warning signs immediately. They rarely resolve themselves and almost always worsen over time. The twelfth way to extend coolant system life is adapting your maintenance schedule to your specific environment. In extreme climates, cooling system stress increases dramatically. If you live where temperatures regularly exceed 90 degrees Fahrenheit, reduce your coolant change interval by 25% and consider upgrading to a higher pressure radiator cap within manufacturer specifications. For severe winters, ensure your coolant provides adequate freeze protection and sufficient antifreeze concentration can cause block cracking below negative 25 degrees Fahrenheit. Short trip driving creates additional stress on cooling systems as they repeatedly cycle without fully warming up. If most of your driving consists of short trips, reduce maintenance intervals by 30% from manufacturer recommendations. Performance or heavily modified vehicles usually require more frequent cooling system maintenance, typically every two to three years, regardless of mileage, for those following these 12 tips but still experiencing issues, here's some advanced troubleshooting. Airlocks are the silent assassins of cooling systems. If you still see signs of air despite proper bleeding, you might need specialized equipment. Professional mechanics use vacuum-filled tools that completely evacuate all air before introducing coolant, particularly valuable for modern vehicles with complex cooling systems. Persistent air bubbles could indicate a head gasket leak, allowing combustion gases into the cooling system. You can test for this using a combustion leak detector fluid. Modern vehicles present unique challenges. Cars with electric water pumps, variable speed fans, or active grill shutters have additional failure points requiring computer diagnostics. Hybrid and electric vehicles often use the cooling system for battery temperature management and have entirely different service procedures. Always consult model-specific information for these specialized systems. For emergency situations, be prepared. I always carry a bottle of premixed coolant in my emergency kit. If you're caught with a coolant leak, distilled water can be a temporary solution, but treat this as a very short-term emergency measure. For small radiator leaks, commercial stop leak products can provide temporary relief to get you to a repair shop, but these should never be considered permanent fixes. Let me show you the numbers. A professional coolant flush costs between $50 to $75. Replacing an engine after overheating damage? We're talking thousands of dollars. By investing in proper cooling system maintenance, particularly properly bleeding your system after any service, you can literally double the lifespan of this critical system. Your car's cooling system is its lifeline. By following these expert-backed strategies, you're investing in your vehicle's longevity, potentially doubling its operational life and saving thousands in repairs. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.